wow, wow, wow. All the events relating to hypnosis presented in this game are purely fictional. They are fabricated solely for the entertainment purposes. Somebody get the telephone. Well, there you have it, folks. We are in it. We are playing Phantasm number 11, Deja Vu. And uh, that seemed a little bit creepy. A little... I don't know what... The, I guess that's hypnosis, is that what she was undergoing? To find out what terrible things have happened to her? <laughs> oh my goodness. I am your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing this game live. We've got all the beautiful people watching on YouTube and on Twitch. And before I do this, I just want to... Check. Voice volume test. Cause. Voice volume test. Just a little quick check here. We're gonna dive right in. I still have to play Phantasm 11, which is this one. 12, 13, and I've never played number one. So we'll be back to play number one at some point. I hear that's a good one. And uh, yeah, this this looks awesome. I really love the art style here of the butterflies and like I guess the salty tears or something. This looks awesome. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This, of course, is from Epix Entertainment, folks, and they don't make these games anymore. So I'm, I'm enjoying these slowly. <laughs> so we've got ourselves some easy, medium, hard, and custom. So let's go ahead and get that cracking. Your subconscious is working on solving a problem even when your conscious mind gives up. Stranger Things Energy? Yeah. Reed Valley, Louisiana, a couple years after the accident. Would you like some interactive help? Special features, please. Matt, thanks for being such a great brother. You drove all day to the middle of nowhere. And I'm no picnic to travel with. You're welcome. Between having nightmares every other night and going to therapists every week, I'm exhausted. I hope this Dr. Ryan can help me. Hey, your tablet. Hey, your tablet. Do you remember the DVD menus? Oh my goodness. I don't even think, I can't even think the last time I used a DVD. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the menus. Good times. It is 5.15 p.m. Is that actually my time? No, okay, I'm 5.09. Well, 17.09. That was good. That was freaking me out a little bit. Hey, Matthew. Here are Faith's latest MRIs. Her brain activity is through the roof every time she dreams about the crash. So Michelle, like, wait, so Matthew, who the hell's Matthew? Just some random dude that we got her medical stuff. This is when she falls asleep. This is when the REM stage begins. And this is when she dreams about the crash. Dear Ro or Dr. Ryan's hop hypnosis may be unconventional, but it's your best chance at this point. His home office took a while to find. I sent you the link. Good luck. GPS unavailable. What? No GPS signal? How are we going to find the house? We've never been to Louisiana before. 
Good old paper map. The storm could be messing with the signal. We should hurry before the weather gets worse. I'm kind of feeling like she's she's actually doing great with this haircut. She's got the good old bangs going. Nice. Okay, I guess we'll find an actual map. Connected to nine other women who went missing over the last decade. The only clue is that the disappearances happen around this time every year. Mm -mm -mm. There's a mighty storm brewing. Where are you two headed in such a hurry? Do you have good pie? I could go for a slice of pumpkin pie. I like my steaming coffee here. It's nice too. If Dr. Ryan lives nearby, maybe she can point us in the right direction. The collectible is a brain in the jar. I assume that's this right here. Brainiac. Yes, let's do it. There's nothing better than a coffee after a long drive. I'd argue a cold draft would be just lovely. Thank you very much. Big storm expected in Reed Valley. Latest news. Looks like the storm's going to be pretty bad. Going deep in the cushion, but a thin item will slide it out. Faith's a trooper. She's been keeping it together despite the nightmares. Fantastic. Flashlight. Doesn't need batteries. Doesn't need a the extra light bulb. Doesn't need a glass. Doesn't need a plastic button. Maybe it needs all of the above. I don't know yet. You've collected a plus item. Dr. Zachary. Oh, I didn't even get to read the rest of it. Okay, try not to get too uh, clicky here, Gibbs. I like how there's like you know, dust, like light bouncing off the dust. This is such a nice look. Let's see how well Zachary Ryan is. Here's a map of Louisiana. Big brain. Yes, yes, yes. So I guess we'll give her the business card. Fine man, that Zachary. Helped a lot of folk here. Bring me a map and I'll show you where he lives. Every location in the game has a hidden brain, which we already got. So I need this quarter out of here. I'm not going to use the flashlight to bang it. If we could just get a crowbar. Yeah, just get flashlight, crowbar, um, tweezers. You know what I mean? Like, those are the, let's start with those. So, let's see. Not sure what else we got going on in here. I need something thin to slide it out. Hmm. Achievements. Do you happen to have a coin on you? Ah, oh, here we go. Is this our plate or somebody else's plate? The waitress needs the map. Dust makes me sneeze? Uh, yeah, me too. Big time. The hint button should be a crowbar. Look at that quarter. Looking nice. I don't know if it matters which one. I guess this one? State of Louisiana. Do you remember when maps cost 25 cents? I have no idea what maps ever cost, but damn, that's a seems like an inexpensive map. Whoa. It sounds silly, but I memorized the way by following road marks to form a specific word. I memorized the way by following the roads to form a specific word. Okay. Atlanta, welcome in. How are you? Hypnotist. Ba, 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 I guess we gotta go this way. We gotta think ahead here. Hip. No. Hip. 
Hypno. And then we need test. T. I. Wait. Uh, I think I'm not sure where I'm going here. Oh, way over the hell over there. Okay. We got it. Excellent. Great. Let's head out. Don't we have to leave a tip for the lovely lady? We're leaving almost a full cup of coffee here. Um, by the way, what would be in the green condiment container? And what kind of salt or pepper is this? What's with these colors? What, like, what is this? This looks like road salt or something. Crazy. So I guess we're leaving then. I love the Epic Doors. Relish. Oh, I never even thought of that. Pickle sauce? Hmm. Interesting. Mustard would be in a yellow. Ranch would be in a white. You know, we gotta know our condiment colors. What the f... What the hell? This seems problematic. I would not trust the green bottle. You know, the green bottle could be like habanero or oh, some sort crying. of chili. Uh-oh, she dead. Help me. Um, I think there's a monster in the water. Um, so I gotta run. I need to secure my grip or she'll slip from my hands. Okay, so you just need to hang on tight and I'll be back in a day or two. Need to remove the bolt. I know, I know. We need like, I don't know, like gymnasts. Don't they put on like uh, talcum powder or something on their hands, you know? There has to be something useful in the toy box. That's the toolbox gives, not the toy box. Ryan Family Estate. Help me. Faith, help yourself, you know, isn't that important? Chalk, yes, yes, yes. I heard you swear. When did that happen, Pinky? I never swear on a Sunday. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Never say never, you know? Dead butterflies. Hello, we're just gonna leave the girl behind there hanging on there. Hello. She needs to have faith in herself. Matthew! You need to wipe the butter from your fingers? <laughs> She's safer down there hanging on, right? Oh, I like her nail polish. It's very nice. She has this kind of pleading look of God damn it, can you just go and, like, get me up? And I'm like, well, <clears throat> I got things to do, so you're just going to have to hang tight. So we've got an adjustable okay. wrench. I'll think about it. Check out the water. Why, is there something in the water? A monster. We have a scarf. Please, hurry. I kind of like the way they do this, like... The game's obviously just on a timer, having her shout out like that. Matthew! She does look like Velma. Your sister's correct. She totally looks like Velma. Cute little frogs over here. I thought I think there's a monster in here. That just looks like I would... I mean, think about chat. Would you just take a swim in this? Phew, that was close. Yeah, I totally rushed and didn't take my sweet time. Totally. I really shouldn't let fate out of my sight. Well, I guess. Are you good now, girl? You had a little adrenaline rush there, did you? Hello, I'm Sheriff Bennett. You must be here to see Zachary. 
Why has he got blood in his nose? What the hell is going on in this game? Faith is bad luck. There is no leap of faith that will get us through this. I'm not going to be swimming there. No, seriously, Sheriff, um, you got a little jam there, bud. Hopefully the sandwich was good. You ate at Zach's until we fixed the bridge. This area is dangerous during big storms. The swamp floods. So I'm patrolling it in case someone needs help. Did you not hear this young lady, like, screaming holy murder? No? You're too busy having your... Welcome. Oh, Welcome. damn. You must be Faith and Matthew Rust. Come in. The storm's getting worse. Hmm. You don't trust him? I mean, I wouldn't... Who do we trust? I'm Dr. Zachary Ryan, Faith's hypnotherapist for the next few sessions. Follow me to the office. I just made some coffee. He's got a Coca-Cola problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, coffee sounds good. Now, I was told some general things about Faith's condition, but I'd like to hear more details from you. We left a cup of coffee back at the diner, so I could totally go for more coffee. Some scenes contain morphing objects. Okay, so chat, we gotta look for brains and morphing objects. So please, please shout them out in the chat. It's like the doctor in Alan Wake? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I want this tea right here. Hello? Right into the glitter. Love it. Man, they did a hell of a job with the storm. Sounds so good. Here we go. Let's go through this lady's personal medical stuff. Because, you know, we're men. <clears throat> and, you know, it's kind of what we do. <laughs> Chelsea, welcome. Hello there. Play a game of match three instead of finding the objects. How does match three work? Is there anyone on the planet? Okay. Like the planet Earth. Who does not know how to play match three. Just curious. What, what are the thoughts here? Is there anyone left? Who has no idea how to play match three. Because I'm maybe there is, but. <laughs> okay, here we go. The dates themselves are pretty hazy, but we remember the events like it was yesterday. 2015. 2015. Fatal crash, two dead, one injured. Mm -hmm. Gaming newborns probably have no idea how to match three. Okay, fair enough. So babies then. Fresh out of the womb. Gaga, goo goo, gaga. Match three. I feel like that's the first thing we teach children is how to match objects, you know? I need another date. The dates aren't arranged correctly. Oh, good lord. But are we talking American dates or the rest of the planet dates? Because in America, this is September 7th, and everywhere else on the planet, this would be the 9th of the seventh month of the 215th year. So, okay, that didn't really help me out here. Medical reports, prescriptions, all the good stuff. Faith Rust experiences a chronic nightmare following a traumatic event she witnessed on September 7th, 2015. She experiences depersonalization and describes feeling out of her body 
and breaks in reality. Faith exhibits signs of a nightmare disorder. No tried therapies were helpful. Now this game actually came out in 2018 according to my notes, so. I see. For our first session, I'd like you to accompany Faith in Hypnosis. It's a method I'm working on to help particularly resistant minds open up. You did an escape room yesterday? Cool, super cool. Did you have to do any math? <laughs> Were you locked forever because there was a math problem? Wait, are you still there now? Do you need to send me help? Uh, I like to copy faith in the hypnosis. It's a method I'm working on. I'd like 